Mary Meat Witches, this is Greybeard Crow Father here for another video in the Intro to Wicca series. Tonight I am going to be talking about initiation and dedication. So hopefully you uh, had a chance to do your homework, which was uh, to make a better uh, relationship with the God from the other night. I don't know how the weather's been for you in some of your areas there, but it's been kind of rainy around here, so not much sunlight at all but if you're lucky you're able to all right let's get into it so initiation is the ritual of becoming accepted for the most part into a traditional group or coven a lot of the british traditional groups will require you to go through an initiation. Some will do the year and a day study and then you're accepted from the outer court into the inner court. Uh, Gardenarian, I know off the top of my head. Um, I believe Alexandrian and the Saks Wiccan traditions are the ones that they all do the initiation processes into. Not sure about Dianic. Dianic. I haven't really studied it, but I believe they do actually require an initiation. So when you've gone through the year and the day studies and they're ready to accept you into the inner court, they have you come and do an initiation ritual. And for the most part, that's basically all it is, is just a larger, more celebrated type ritual than, say, a ritual for Samhain or... Um, you know, Beltane or Mavon or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> um, I know there's a whole process that they go through uh, just from reading upon the different initiation processes. I'm not going to get into that. You can do the research and check it out yourself. I know that uh, Raymond Buckland's Big Blue Book of Witchcraft has a whole section of initiation in it and processes. The Wicca Bible by Anne Marie Gallagher also describes what can occur during an initiation for the traditional uh, witchcraft and uh, covens. So check it out if you're interested. Being a self practitioner, you're not in any need of having to go through an initiation. You can dedicate yourself to honoring the goddess and the god. But there is no need for any formal initiation ritual. Um, if someone tells you that you're not a Wiccan because you haven't been initiated, that's a load of crap. It's not true. You don't have to go through an initiation ritual to become or declare yourself as a Wiccan. <clears throat> A lot of times, a lot of people, well, some people might say that only a Wiccan can make a Wiccan wrong. Only the goddess and the god can make a Wiccan. And if you're putting your trust and love in the goddess and god, they'll return that love and you can call yourself a Wiccan. There's no formal, like rules that says unless somebody put tells you or makes you a Wiccan that you're a Wiccan. That's absolute garbage. The next section is on dedication. Now, a dedication ceremony is not necessary. However, I tend to feel that doing a, a, a dedication ceremony for yourself, it, it makes you feel more empowered. And I'm going to go over some of that um, with you here in a moment. Uh, what I'm going to talk about here as far as dedication is also going to relate to the uh, homework that I'm going to talk about after I get through this section. <clears throat> so the first question you want to ask yourself is, after doing all the reading about Wicca and research, do you feel that Wicca is right for you? Are you willing to make this 
your lifelong path. No other options, just make it your straight path through the rest of your life. Are you studying or learning about Wicca and attempting to practice it because you're wanting to be, you know, rebellious or edgy? Then those reasons might not be right. And you may not want to dedicate yourself. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, you're doing it because you're rebelling against somebody, but Wicca should be a lifelong dedication, much like a Christian would be dedicated to the Christian God for the rest of their life and going to church all the time on Sundays or whatever days that they go. With Wicca, your church is nature. So if you walk in nature every day and dedicate yourself to that, great. I'm actually going to go over some examples of what you can do if you decide that you're going to dedicate yourself to becoming Wiccan for the rest of your life. <clears throat> and also, if you have decided to dedicate yourself and become Wiccan, you'll find yourself much better for it. Now, I'm not trying to put down someone who's a Christian because there are a lot of good Christians out there, but there's a lot of Christians that tend to try to force their views upon other people, and they're very hypocritical when it comes to, you know, loving and being kind to others. <clears throat> so a couple examples of doing a self-dedication ritual are as, as follows. Uh, one, you could take a uh, self-dedication bath. You can add oils or salts to the water and you know have candles lit and everything and if you have the time to do so write out your dedication vows and and chant them as you're you know taking that bath it'll help add that extra um special feeling to that dedication ritual bath um, another option you can do is write out your dedication vows that you want to recite and go out during a full moon and pledge yourself to the goddess. And then if you wish, wait till the daytime comes and go out during the sun and pledge yourself to the god. Or just do the goddess and the god will understand. It, it, it's up to you. How, however you feel, you can do one half, you can do the other half, you can do both halves. It, it's totally personal preference. Um, another option you can do is if you can't get outside or can't do a bath, if you can get hold of some type of an oil, say, um, you know, those little vials of um, uh, myrrh or frankincense or sandalwood or opium, and you can do a dedication ritual. Again, write your vows how you, however you want to do it. And as you're doing them, you know, anoint yourself with the triple goddess symbol or an, or the um, uh, the god symbol or both, however way, whichever way you want to do it. And then take the time afterwards to reflect on how you felt. <clears throat> uh, a very involved option is to go ahead and do a combination of a few of these. Uh, find a spot secluded in the woods if possible and uh, take some oil if you have it if not don't worry about it sit on the ground and you know feel nature all around you and then again do your dedication vows if you have them you don't have to speak aloud you can speak them to yourself if you want to speak them out loud great go ahead do whatever you wish it's your dedication ritual do it as you see fit uh, if you're really adventurous <laughs> and the, the spot in the woods is secluded and you want to go sky clad, go for it. You're making yourself more vulnerable to the goddess and the god that way. And that's basically how we come into life, totally naked and, and vulnerable. So why not dedicate your life to Wicca in the same way that you came into the world? Uh, be careful with that one, though, because you want to make sure that if you're going to do that, that there is nobody around or you know any way of getting caught or seeing because you might be embarrassed <clears throat> uh, 
um, if you decide that you're going to actually write and, um, you know, recite your own vows, go ahead and do so. It doesn't have to be long. It can be a line. It can be a couple lines. It can be a whole, you know, novel if you want it to. It doesn't really matter. It's not necessary to make it long. It's not even necessary to write the vows. I just feel that it adds extra power to your dedication. Um, remember, Wicca is to acknowledge the divinity in all of nature and to protect all things in regards to nature and the environment. You are pledging yourself in the Wiccan fashion to protect the goddess and the god, the earth, the animals, and the plants that reside upon this earth. If there is no nature upon this earth, we are truly lost because we can't live without it and it can't live without us. So, that being said, the homework that I will give to you tonight is as follows. If you have decided, sorry, got a cat coming up here. If you have decided to dedicate yourself to the Wiccan path for so long as you shall live, great. Go ahead and write up a dedication ritual for yourself. And if you can, between this video and the next video that I'm going to do, do it. And then if you have time and, you know, we'd like to, you know, let me know in the comments how that ritual made you feel afterwards and how you're feeling about it and how things worked out for you. So if you have the time, like I said, go ahead and create the ritual and perform it and dedicate yourself to the God and the goddess and Wicca in general. That being said, y'all have a good night. And this is Graybeard Crowfather signing off. Until next time, blessed be.